my friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And I'm here today with some um, spooky inspired goodies. So long before that brand that shall not be named revealed a Hocus Pocus inspired palette or collaboration palette. Long before that, I had Hocus Pocus on my list as a inspiration for a palette building video for spooky season because they decided to, you know, release that um, terrible palette. I decided to prioritize doing Hocus Pocus first in this hopeful series for the October season. So we're going to build a palette together, actually inspired by the colors from the movie, the characters, all of that. So I am debating between a 9 and 12 pan for this palette. There are a few shades that I feel like I'm definitely going to want. So let's play and pull. So there is a purple presence from Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker's character, and also her bodice is like this taupey purple, which Mystic Moon Pie just popped into my head. So we have these two. I also decided to bring in a navy for a deepening shade. If you can't tell, I've thought about this a little bit. The next color family I'm kind of considering is the reddy orangey tones. And that is a little tricky. I want like a pumpkin-y orange shimmer. And then I think I want like a carrot orange matte and then a red, either a deep red or a vibrant red, but I'm not sure which. We're gonna use the arm for testing. With those two, and now I'm debating. Now I want like a matte kind of carroty, light pumpkin-y orange. Where's that one? Where's this one? Where's this one? And there is, I think we're gonna go with that one, which is turmeric shot. Let's see. So that's the first half. I'm debating on a deeper red, but for now, I want to. I'll keep the bright red. I definitely want to go in all of land. or like deep green land. Let's see what we have here. I'm also kind of avoiding my square pans, but um, I think I might dig into some of the squares. This is a red I'm debating about. instead of the really ready red. I'm gonna, hold on, let's see. So something I like to play around with is seeing how shadows blend. And I actually think that a blue that I have from Lethal is going to be, it kind of reminds me of the night sky. So we're in kind of like green land. 
I know I want like a deeper green and then like a, a grungy green and then an olive shimmer because I'm kind of feeling that whole like costume of Winifred. I have a lot of dark greens that look similar because I think I blended a bunch from like the tribe so we have a lot of like slight variations. Practically identical. Whoopsie. I think that last one is the definite winner. That is from the Pinky Rose palette, um, the um, exotic peacock. That's more brown. I think I want the more snoggy one, which is that tone. There's also a tone like this. This is Congo Basin, but I don't know. Mm. So maybe. Now there are three green shimmers that came to mind. There's Rainbow Blossom, which is the Candy Cakes collection from Davina. It's like green with a little bit of blue in there. There is Celesta, which is stunning. It looks very gold, but I don't know, I feel like it's green. It's it's weird because in the it's weird because in the pan it's very green to me, but then it's gold. So I'm not sure. And then this is Limelight from JD Glow. And I know I use that color a lot, but that's actually the in-between shade that I really want. Rainbow Blossom could also be a, a standby. Now, I do want to add, so, okay, so here's what I decided. I want to do a 12 pan because I want to add a special shade in Multichrome. So that's no way, and I feel like that adds that burgundy tone that I feel like I'm missing. And then I really wanted to bring in an iridescent, like inner corner, kind of topper, kind of shade. I think the winner is going to be Lunar Spectrum because it's like a peach to green and I feel like it would add to the orange and to the green. Kind of debating on oranges. I think I want, yeah, okay. I really wish I had like a deep red. I feel like I don't have the deep red that I want. You know I can't resist this orange from Kaleidos. It's just, oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I believe this is Juvia's Place, I'm sorry, but this orange from Kaleidos is just too much. Okay, we're going to do some swatching and then I'm going to make some decisions. I've been a sucker for Asteria lately, so I'm going to include that. It adds a little bit of brown and red and green. Okay, as per usual, I had a bit of a struggle with this palette. I ended up deciding to expand it to 15 shadows. 
because I wanted a little bit more dimension and depth. So I'm going to swatch them out and we're going to see how it all looks together. This is Terra Moon's Lunar Spectrum. This is Orange Carrot from Colored Rain, Juicy Boost. This is the Kaleidos VR Neon Orange that I never know the name of. This is the Kaleido Cyber Bronze Red. This is Lethal Cascade. This is from the Pinky Rose Exotic Peacock palette. This is JD Glow Limelight Metallon. This is Colored Rain Congo Basin from the Safari Rain palette. This is Rainbow Blossom from Davina. This is an unfortunate, undisclosed blend that I have. It's probably a Franken Shadow. This is Davina Asteria. This is JD Glow No Way. This is Davina Mystic Moon Pie. This is the purple from the Colored Rain Power Palette. And this is Insomnia from Lethal Cosmetics. So here is my Hocus Pocus palette. Now I know that there was quite a bit of color choosing off camera. I decided to expand to a 15 pan palette because I really needed a little bit more dimension and I wanted to make sure I had the reds covered with some depth that you could pair with the navy and get kind of a smoky purple. The brownish green of Congo Basin could kind of pair with Asteria or No Way or any of the greens. The Cascade, red, burgundy, and the orange could work together. I would love to hear your thoughts on this palette. I would love to hear your thoughts on my creative process. Did I hit the mark? Would you make any edits? Would you rearrange the palette? I might still rearrange it. If I do, I'll include footage here. This is a slight rearrangement, just playing around with placement of colors and textures. As I mentioned at the beginning, I will be doing more of these spooky Halloween palette inspiration videos. And I already have some inspirations in mind, but if you have any that you would love my take on, let me know. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. If you are inspired by this and want to see more palette creation videos, 
go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. I have a whole playlist of duping the vibe single palette creation videos. I have lots of fun stuff coming and things already on the channel for you to check out. Please take care of yourself, stay safe, and hopefully I will see you again real soon. Bye friends.